What's up guys, welcome back. I'm back here at Gettle Kia of Bradenton, Florida. And guess what? This is that a key. I found this on their used car inventory. 2022 BMW X3 M competition package. So this is the baddest, fastest, meanest looking and the most expensive X3 in their lineup. So today I'm gonna take you on a tour of it. So we're gonna explore it from the exterior, interior, jump inside of it, play with some cool and interesting features, pop the hood of course, see what powers up this beast. And at the end of this video, my favorite part, I'm gonna take you for a spin in it. So if you're ready, let's go. Well guys, the X3 definitely has been a hit for BMW for many, many years. It's been one of the best selling vehicles in its lineup and that's because they have a little bit for everybody. It starts off with the, the X30i, the X330i, right? And then, then there's the X3, the 40 M40, and that adds the mild hybrid system. So that's a little bit sportier, kind of like GLC 43. And then we have the granddaddy, the big boss of its own, the X3M. Now this is a step above it. This is the X3M with competition package. So it adds even more horsepower to already powerful engine. And we're gonna talk about it in just a little bit. But let's take a look at this vehicle up close and personal. I like this Brooklyn gray color. It does have this long hood. It's got two distinct body lines on the hood, kind of flares out in here for that more muscular look. The lights gotten a little bit different for this year, for 2022. There's still the BMW LED adaptive lights on it with this nice light signature right underneath here. Very nice and bright and you definitely know what's following you behind if you know what BMW light signatures looks like. The grill, very similar to the previous generation one. On this particular one, it's all blacked out. There's no chrome on this vehicle. It does have the front view camera. So it basically tells me it does have a 360 view. But the biggest change right here is this bottom portion of the front bumper. It's got a lot more openings. It's got a lot more air to be allowed to get into the engine, the wheels, the brakes, to help with the cooling. You definitely need it when you're speeding, right? So let's pop the hood open. Let's see what powers up this thing. Guys, the hood is open. Let's get right into it because this is a beauty. It not only looks beautiful, but this three liter twin turbocharged engine delivers 503 horsepower, 479 pound feet of torque. This power is reserved for the competition package, which this one is. It's a little bit less on the regular X3M. And look at this, in addition to all this power, which by the way, gets delivered to all wheels via eight-speed automatic transmission. But in addition to that, look at all of these components right here, all these braces for extra rigidity, stiffness, better handling and better performance, okay? No wonder this thing can go zero to 60 in 3.7 seconds, which is insane for this class of a vehicle. <laughs> Guys, check this out. I love this Brooklyn gray metallic color. It looks absolutely fantastic, especially with all this black trim all around here. Now you can see one right here, X3M. This is non-functional. This is for decoration only. Love the shape of the mirrors. These are different than on the regular X3. These are more aerodynamic. They also include the blind spot assist. They have the turn signal indicator and also the camera in it. So they're fully loaded mirrors. And also that shiny black trim continues all around the windows right here, as well as in the roof rails. Now, when you look at the wheels, 21 inch wheels, part of the competition pack, 
great design they're black wheels they have the m logo right inside of it right next to this bmw logo inside tires very nice very sporty very sticky 255s by 40 in the front to 65s by 40 in the back so they're a little bit wider in the back and that's because this car can send a hundred percent of its power to the rear wheels when needed so guys i hope you can hear it it's beep right here it means that i get close to the car which means it unlocks itself and as soon as i walk away it locks itself because i do have a key in my pocket so that's the smart entry system now it could be annoying at times but that's the way they do it so a little bit difference right here that spoiler is different than the previous gen one uh, it's a little bit more aggressive on especially on this x uh, 3m competition package it does have the third brake light right here what's new for 2022 they have all led lights which look absolutely fantastic especially when they lit up uh, more so than when they're not so bmw logo right here right on this side you can see same black color x3 m and then the competition package right here and what i love about this vehicle is the bottom part of this bumper and those huge dual exhaust on both sides right here it does have this air diffuser in the middle to allow for the best aerodynamics for this vehicle and let's hear it how it starts <laughs> This is a key for this 2022 BMW. You can see it's got the M colors right on the side of here. And this typical BMW key, you have the lock, unlock, trunk, or the gate, which we're gonna open right now. See how much room we have inside. This is a smaller SUV, but it does have plenty of room inside. What's underneath? this floorboard right here you can see there put the floor mats um, in this what otherwise would be a storage compartment a little bit more storage kind of small but not too bad if you want to hide stuff inside of it you have a netting so stuff doesn't run turn around you have a little bit of a you have a hook right here for your groceries and then uh, what you have is your power outlet on this side and this is it you have a cargo cover and you can see this merino leather in there which we're going to check out right now by the way seats you can either fold in this middle portion by itself or you can fold them 60 40 if you'd like to so that's how the seats fall down so quite a bit of room to see on the inside guys if you're looking for a lot of room in the back seat that's probably not the car i mean this is more revolving around the driver around the performance and i'm not sure the seats are different for sure than on the regular m uh, x3 uh, series because i remember doing an x3 and i had a little bit more room in the back so that's definitely has to do with the design of the seats the interior however it looks gorgeous let me show it to you okay let's start with the door right here guys check this out first of all you do have this sun shade which is a great feature for every car but you also have this carbon fiber trim and if you can see a little bit maybe there is the ambient lighting that's right on top of this and you can change the colors of it we're gonna play around with it when I'm in front the polished aluminum trim that continues right at the bottom of here and then you have the X uh, badge right there and then you have this sapphire orange i think this is the merino leather sapphire orange is the color at least that's what i could figure out from the uh, not having the sticker on this vehicle and then you have of course your window control speaker and a little bit of room underneath here so when you look at the seats in the back right here let's go inside love this color and i gotta tell you when you get the sports car you want it to pop so you get something that's different from the crowd and check out the seat belts look at this m colors right on the seat belt in here these details make these vehicles very special nice design on the seats now you do have the armrest right here cup holders pop open um, and this one doesn't open i don't think so no uh, but you can open up this whole middle section right here if you have skis or anything like this longer that you want to transport in the vehicle so what's going on in the middle right here so you have the vents for your climate control you have also controls for the climate control you have the back heated seat 
a very important option here in Florida. And then you have a USB-C's right at the bottom. A little bit of storage and a little bit of a hump right in the middle here. You also have this X3 branded all season mat. I guess we're gonna check out the vehicle from the interior, but check this out. The mirrors, this is what I was talking about. This is the design of the mirrors for the best aerodynamics. Okay, different one than on the regular one. Let's close the door and let's see how it sounds. It sounds awesome. Great solid thump on here. Again, the same design as on the back door. Okay, you have this carbon fiber trim and then you have your window mirror controls and then you have the gate opener right there. A little bit of room inside on the seat and then right here, X3M competition badging. Okay, plenty of different buttons to adjust your seat. Even has the massage seat, I believe. That's the function of it. You can adjust pretty much everything. Uh, this is for your lumbar. This moves the seat. I believe there is an option right here. This is actually manual that uh, moves this knee rest right over here. And check out the design on the seat. Okay, M serious M badging right here. You have this perforated leather embroidered on the inside. You have those inserts, black inserts right on the side of here. It looks absolutely amazing. Okay, so let's check out the interior on this 2022 X3M competition. I gotta tell you, I love the dashboard. It is, uh, even though it's not leather, but it looks like the leather-like material, it still has this carbon fiber trim. It has this polished aluminum trim, nice vents incorporated into this interior. Of course, you have the glove box right underneath here. We're gonna move into the center console in just a little bit. Just wanna show you, it does have the head-up display. It's very hard to see right now, especially in the full sun, but you do see the speed and you see the speed limit over there. So you can change that up a little bit and set up different options. Steering wheel, very nice to the touch. It is a great looking steering wheel. And I gotta tell you, the video probably doesn't do it justice, but even look at this stitching right on the steering wheel itself it does have the m uh, colors right here you have the blue you have the red uh, you have the on the black background right here you have the bmw logo right here some polished aluminum trim of course the big pedal shifters in the back and this is the m series bmw so you do have the m1 and m2 customizable driving modes and on the left hand side you have controls for basically your cruise control and the adaptive cruise control for the right hand side basically whatever controls the media okay so you have the volume control you have the media different station control etc you can also uh, you know control the volume through here so whenever you find something that you like you can actually select it so this goes side to side and that controls what's going on, on the screen here below just take a quick peek right at this instrument cluster left hand side you have the speedometer and notice that it goes up to 200 miles per hour however this vehicle is limited to 177 miles per hour and uh, the non-competition series would be 155 miles so now we can get excited looking at it, but you'll never hit 200 miles unless somehow you unlock it. On the right hand side, the commuter, and uh, you also have two gauges on both sides, one for the gas, which is right in here. And then on the other side, you have the temperature. That's important. You have the range, you have the temperature, you have the hour and etc. And right here, you can see X3M and then you have this attention assist that basically just monitors your eyes and you know if you're getting drowsy it's probably gonna do some shaking off the seats or some noises and now let's move on to this infotainment system so the infotainment system this is the 12 inch display and uh, that's basically just as big as on the mercedes uh, glc and that's 12.3 uh, inch on the mb UX and uh, let's see what we have in here. I haven't really played around with the infotainment system of BMW for a while. Now you can control it a few different ways. So you can control it touchscreen like I just did now. There's also a controller that is located right next to the shifter. And there's some shortcut buttons that are gonna be definitely your friend. So anytime you get lost, you hit the home button, it's gonna take you to the home screen. If you wanna see the map, you hit the map. If you want to check out navigation, navigation, media, and then you can have uh, communications or contacts. So that's for your phone, telephone, mobile devices, etc. This is how you control it. 
okay you can also move it side to side up and down and you can also press it when you select something so all right there was somebody named keith in this car before we're gonna get out of here get to the home screen and see what else is here so when i want to make the map bigger just hit the map button okay go back what else do we have okay we have a radio harman kardon stereo and this particular one and you have the xm fm am etc okay you're gonna open this up category search you know you can also go back to the main screen it is kind of sensitive you can also control it through voice but with my uh, accent it doesn't really want to talk to me so navigation car m menu okay so these are the two buttons that you can configure the m1 and you can configure all of these options right here engine if you want to be in the sport plus transmission chassis steering the stability control mx drive four wheel drive sport start stop you don't want to take that on and off in the uh, mode and sound control which is awesome um, and then you can do that basically for both different buttons so if you have two favorite settings you can set it up yourself head-up display okay they can see what's going on in here as far as the brightness height rotation route warnings etc and then we go back uh, to the previous screen instrument panel okay so that's where you can set up configure view so configuration for the road converted speed we can see miles per hour and kilometers per hour if you like that uh, display assisted driving when driver assistance is active additional information so there's only a few different options that you can customize with that but still there's some customization that's available and then we go to vehicle status settings carrying car driver profiles owner's manual and just uh, some legal notes in here so driver profiles okay there's nothing that's set up right now and then of course if you go to your home system at the bottom on the left menu there are also apps and uh, you can install apps like android auto is installed right now apple carplay and you can check out the different installed apps m lap timer this is one of the apps that's installed um, and that basically takes you to a recording option so if you're taking it on the track and if you recount the lap then you can start recording also you have weather if you can't look up the window you can also see basically what the weather is like so check it out guys 73 degrees we're in february here in bradenton florida okay and that's what's going to be our winter time here so that's why i said the heating heated steering wheel heated back seats they're really important right here so we do have ventilated seats okay this is for your max window defroster front window defogger rear window defroster all the shortcut buttons for your um, ac this these are your uh, configuration for the all the safety settings on the vehicle so when you press that you can configure all of them individually and then you have your modes and band for the stereo volume button power button right here m3 competition proudly displayed on the bottom you can open this up okay you have cup holders that's hidden underneath here you have the usb port all right so let's see what's going on right here this is this command center this is pretty cool there's a lot of buttons in here and it's a lot of stuff that's going on so we're going to start with this part right here i already told you that this is for controlling the infotainment system some shortcut buttons left right up and down this is what controls this now on the left hand side of the gear shifters you have the traction control you have the camera you have the parking sensors automatic start stop button and turn those on and off you have the engine start and stop button right here m mode setup and exhaust button right there auto hold okay you can turn that on for the brakes and your electronic parking brake and the hill descent assist so there's a lot of options that are included see those buttons light up as soon as i move that now i love this shifters right here one thing that i'm not sure and maybe you guys know if what this is because i'm pressing this button and nothing is happening right now so if you know what this is let me know in the comment section below this is of course your parking button i love the way it looks i love how it's got this m uh, on the on top of it i like how it does have this stitching right on the side of it this m collar stitching but i'm not sure i like how 
to operate it. So it's kind of uh, difficult. You can see this is uh, where you shift it. So of course you shift it to the right and then you can see the drive or the sport. And when this is lit up, you can control uh, your uh, transmission with the manual pedal shifters, right? So you go to neutral right here and then you go up to reverse. Um, okay, I guess it's something to get used to it, but it's not the most intuitive thing out there. Now, once I have it in the reverse, let's check out the camera. I got to tell you, the camera is absolutely awesome as far as the quality. It's a good quality camera. You have the trajectory lines. You have that uh, for the back and for the front as well. And then on the right hand side, you can see there's a bunch of options in here. You have the automatic parking. You have the backup assistant. Okay, if you want to put that in automatic parking, camera image, okay, you have the settings, etc. So there's other options that you can customize in here. You have the 3D view, that's a pretty cool, actually you have the Brooklyn gray color BMW that's uh, standing right there. Can we turn it? There you go. You can keep on moving it around and it's actually where I'm at. I'm right at this parking lot. All right, well, let's put it in the park. I mean, there's a lot of settings in here, pretty cool. All right, what else do we have here? Uh, right on the top, okay, regular mirror. You have the LED lights, you have the SOS, and then you have the panoramic sunroof. A nice size sunroof right there, opens up this big shade. Now, as far as the part that opens is only up to here, so we're going to actually hit that and let it slide open. We have a nice windscreen. All right. And then this is it. This is the interior of it. I'm really curious to see how it drives. So I'll take you for a spin in it. Well, guys, I got to tell you, I'm excited to take this for a spin. It is a, a very powerful and very quick vehicle. And hopefully I'm going to be able to uh, test it out uh, at least, you know, to the best of the what the conditions are going to allow us for right here on the road uh, of course without doing anything crazy unfortunately i know you guys want it but not really so uh, 2022 uh, x3 i mean there's obviously x3 and then the x3m and those are two different uh, beasts basically it's the same body uh, but it's a different chassis I and mean, it's a different suspension it's a different uh, engine of course and uh, you know the power on it uh, not even close so with the X3M, it starts at 69.9, so it's almost $70,000. And from the best of my ability, I was able to uh, get the sticker to this particular vehicle, and that was about $85,000. Right before we actually drive it, okay, uh, I'm gonna see how it turns, what the turning radius is on this vehicle right here. And I'm going to turn the wheels all the way. I'm going to change that. I don't need to look at the weather. Well, let's take a look at the map. Now, let's see. One, two, three, four. Just to touch over four spaces to turn this vehicle around. So not bad at all. And uh, we're going to take this on the road and see how it drives. Right away though, I have to tell you, as far as the drive, the feel of this vehicle, you can feel the stiffness. Okay? You can feel the stiffness of this vehicle. I just put it in the M mode and it's actually just going to stiffen up even more. Um, but that's probably also the wheels, the low profile tires. If this is a powerful car and I'm probably going to do something I'm not supposed to which is stop right here and then hit it. <laughs> this is incredible. This vehicle, and that's without gunning it too much. Now, this is not in manual mode. This is just in the regular mode, road mode. We got zero to about 60 plus miles per hour and very short time uh, obviously I mean they testing it at about 3.7 seconds which is incredible for a vehicle like this to have that much power but also the way it feels it, it doesn't overwhelm you with 
you know, too much of powder. Of course, you gotta be careful with that much under your wheels uh, to not to do anything crazy. Uh, but it is something that just is there, but on the regular driving, during the regular drive, doesn't really show up until you ask for it, if you will. So, definitely a nice characteristic of this car. Look at this, we're turning this turn right there. Okay, very nice. There's no body roll, it's stiff. You know it's a performance vehicle.